Hello guys, today I will show you how I made this Simon irrigation system and we will see how to go from experience in the print board to a final product ready to sell. This video is sponsored by NextPCB, more about them later. We needed this experience to control the system Arduino Nano, LCD display to interface the menu, LCC3231 to get time, rotary encoder to control the menu, and a breadboard for LEDs and jumpers cable. Let's take a look at the experience in the breadboard. Firstly, connect the LCD to the Arduino and that by wiring the following pins. From the LCD RS to the digital pin 5 in the Arduino, enable to digital pin 2, RW to GND, D4 to digital pin 6, D5 to digital pin 7, D6 to digital pin 8, and D7 to digital pin 9, as showing in the screen in the right side. Secondly, wire the RTC3231 with the Arduino according to the list in the right side of the screen, and that's by wiring the GND with the GND in the RTC, VCC with 5 volt, SDA with A4, and STL with A5. The same thing for the rotary encoder, where we wire the GND with the COM, the button with the D4, A with D2, B with D3. Let's go to see the software part. The code is so simple, based on displaying the actual time from the RTC3231 model, and then compare it to the time already saved in the tables. If the time in the tables is equal to the actual time, then the output change from 0 to 1, and vice versa. And here is a short test for the menu, after uploading the code for the first time. Step 3. PCB Design Making the PCB is one of the important parts in any professional product, where we start by choosing the right components and wiring them together according to the breadboard wiring. And for a low cost, we need to arrange the component in a way that reduces the surface of the PCB. Step 4. Unboxing Thanks to our sponsor, NextPCB. The sponsor of this video is NextPCB. NextPCB is a PCB manufacturer based on China. They provide high quality PCBs with low prices. Go and make your first order, link in description below. In the solder part, I start by soldering the diodes and relays all together, then the microcontroller and finally the other external components, which are the resistors and the capacitors. Wait a minute please, your subscribe helps this channel to continue, so please make sure you are a subscriber in my YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys. Now let's take a look at the tests. After powering the system, click on the rotary encoder and go to COMP1. Then select the open time T1 and the close time D1. Then wait. As you can see here, the pump now is on.
and here again the pump is off. If you find the project useful, please subscribe and active the bell for receiving my upcoming project. See you in the next week in another project. Guess what is the next project in the comment section below guys.